Hey, the rain has stopped, so we're going to carry right on. We're looking at Zechariah chapter 10, verses 6 through 8 today. I will strengthen the house of Judah, and I will save the house of Joseph. I will bring them back, because I have mercy upon them. They shall be as though I had not cast them aside. For I am the Lord their God, and I will hear them. Those of Ephraim shall be like a mighty man, and their heart shall rejoice as if with wine. Yes, their children shall see it and be glad. Their heart shall rejoice in the Lord. I will whistle for them and gather them, for I will redeem them, and they shall increase as they once increased. The message in these verses is about God's restoration of his people. I was going to gather them. He's going to bring them back. It'll be as though they'd never gone away. It'll be as though they've never been cast aside. He has good things. He's been wanting to give them. He's been storing up all those good things, but they had to go through those years of punishment and exile. They will rejoice, they will be gathered, they will be redeemed. Might as well return now and just, and just, why wait, you know? Let's get straight to the good stuff. So the rejoicing is described almost euphorically. There's really no downside here. It's all joy, joyful. Now, we don't follow God out of material purposes and motives, you know? It's not because of the loaves and fishes that we follow him. We want the spiritual help. We know we need the spiritual help. But just the same, there will be... Uh, there will be loaves and fishes. There will be material prosperity because God longs to give that to us. That's one of the things he wants to do. So I'm, I'm not doing the prosperity gospel thing here. I'm just saying God wants to bless you. He knows your needs. He knows, and he knows things that will be a help to you. And so those are good things that are coming. And we are right now in this conflict between good and evil. But if one day we'll be on the, out on the other side, out on the other side, done done with the sin and the wages of sin and the punishment and the, the, the consequences that always go with self-serving. We'll be done with that. And so there's good days, very good days ahead. So there's a reason to trust in God. There's a reason why we need to look at all the good things he has for us. There's a good day coming. And so we can look to him. He will have just what we need. As John promises, they will walk with him in white. They will be empowered with every good thing that what God wants to give them. And they'll say yes to God in a world that says no to God. See you tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm.